Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we caught Ho Ho at the top of Bell Tower. In today's episode, we're actually going to be making our way back to New Bark Town and see if we can continue on on our adventure. Time for us to actually move on upwards and forwards and see how far we can actually get in this place. All right, let's go ahead and fly over there. As you can also see from my team, I have Stripes back out because we're actually going to need both Stripes and Aqui today. So I went ahead and put Den in the Poke Box. All right, let's go ahead and get this surfing going. Let's get this magic flowing and it's about time we could actually proceed on right we are in the open ocean We are in the sea. We are relaxing. We are enjoying our summer and I know I've actually been enjoying my summer quite a bit I went ahead and used the repel very quickly and we've made it to route 27. I'm actually pretty busy lately I've been doing a lot of like crazy stuff and oh random guy. Hey Do you know what you just did? No, did I do something wrong? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your poker gear, map, and see. So it looks like we have took our first step into the Kanto region, which is pretty cool. This is a pretty awesome place, and I'm very excited to continue our adventure here. This is where the Pokemon League is going to be located, so we're actually going to have to, you know, go back and forth between these two regions to actually get the full exploration done. And we have entered... Tojo Falls. This is why we needed both Stripes and Aqui because each of them have like special moves that we're gonna need throughout this. So you know, I'm like, you know, what, let's do this. It's kind of weird having two dudes that no HMs on us, two dudes that no similar water moves. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's go ahead and get our surf going and let's continue on. As I was telling you guys, I guess I forgot to use Repel. Okay, I'm gonna have to use Repel after this. As I was saying, I am actually, you know, really busy lately. I've been, you know, studying for an exam. I actually had an exam this week, which I had to, like, study for. Like, I was, like, packing it all day. I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta read this. I gotta read seven chapters in a day. Uh, you know, it, it was a lot of work, but I managed to do well. And that's just kind of what it's been. This summer seems to be, you know, just very full of, like, studying for now. I really can't wait till my summer really begins, which will be later on in July here very soon but you know I, I still have quite a bit to go and I know I'll eventually get there but for now it's time to just kind of you know study as much as possible hang out as much as I can and just kind of chill out all right the water is deep blue let's go ahead and you surf then and let's keep going on through here all right we are actually looking like we can get out of this place which is pretty dang cool we've already made it to route 27 an another exit I'm gonna go around this trainer don't really want to battle them uh, let's head inside this house maybe there will be something in here that we'll need it'll probably it's probably gonna be let let let's see let's see where are you off to with Pokemon the Pokemon League are you Pokemon loyal enough for you to win let me see ah your Pokemon trust you very much it's nice to see a good trainer here a gift for your journey we obtained a TM 37 it happens to be Sandstorm. I guess this lady's just gonna give us this TM. I don't think I'll be using it on any of my Pokemon. So let's just continue forward. Let's just keep moving. Because hopefully we can make our way at least to like the beginning of the Pokemon League. Because I don't remember how long Victory Road really is. But, you know, we'll see if we can actually do it today or not. Let's just keep surfing. Let's keep dodging these trainers. And hopefully we can make it there today. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we're actually going to start bumping into Kanto Pokemon. Which is going to be pretty exciting. And, I'm, you know, I... Kanto is probably one of my favorite regions. You know, Sinnoh was probably my favorite. So, you know, we'll have to figure out if, if it's going to top it. You know, Johto was actually coming very close. Uh, I had a lot of fun in Johto. So, we're going to see, you know, what happens in Kanto. What crazy stuff we can get into. All right. It seems like we have a trainer down there as well. I'm going to go ahead and use a super repel very quickly so we can explore this grass. We got ourselves a destiny knot. No idea what that does. Maybe you guys will tell me. And it looks like we have a trainer, so can I make it? Yeah, here we go. These are getting tougher and tougher. I'm very excited for this place and we have another one. Woo! 
glad we beat her. Not too shabby, she said. Give me your phone number. No, we're not going to be taking any of these ladies' phone numbers. I know, I know. But you know, our GF Lyra is going to get jealous. You know, so is Nurse Joy. We're already, you know, messing with too many of them. Jokes, jokes, and we got another one. Get back to fishing. You need to get yourself like a team of six Magikarps and then evolve them and then you'll be really kick butt. It looks like we have another one over here. I think I'm going to be able to dodge it. Yeah, that one's not flipping around, turning, looking for me. So let's continue forward, guys. We're actually doing quite well. Let's head inside this little house and see what's going on in here. Ooh, let's talk to this lady. Do you think you were lucky to find a place to rest? Oh, it's one of these ladies. These ladies that just, you know, they're just like, hey, you know, you can you can come share my my bed with me. You know, just come lay down for a little bit. I'll, you know, give you a little back massage and we can rest up your Pokemon as well. Another girl and here we go. I think that might have been the first Pikachu and Blastoise we have seen in this region. That's freaking awesome. Those are incredible Pokemon. I really, really like them. We went ahead and humped the tree and got ourselves a blue apricorn. And let's keep going. Let's see where this place is going to take us. It says North to Victory Road. We are getting close. We are almost there. This is so exciting. We are getting so close to make it to the Pokemon League. And it looks like we have another battle. There we go. Wow, you're tough. Yeah, I know. We've been working at it for quite a while. What do you think these eight badges mean? I think they're actually putting a couple that we have to fight, so it looks like we're also going to have to take on this one. So many trainers there, our mother is calling us. Is that it? Have we made it yet? We have one left to go. We might as well just kick their butts and proceed on. As you were able to see in that last battle, Zuko went up to level 42 and we learned Flamethrower. I, you know, taught it to him over Lava Plume, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. And we have made it here to the Pokemon League Reception Gate. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to continue on through here because I think it's going to be like a long, crazy adventure. And I don't think we'll be able to make it through it very quickly. So it's going to give us some trouble. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.